Good morning. Got a 2014 Honda Accord in the shop today. We're going to be doing a timing belt and water pump service. Also changing out the crank seal, the serpentine belt, and the t or serpentine belt tensioner. So let's get into this. So these newer Hondas, they're not too bad because you don't have to deal with power steering. That's usually right here. It's electronic power steering. But uh, the plan of attack is I'm going to be removing this uh, ECU so I can get the mount out. And then we have to get this bracket off as well as the timing covers. Obviously we have to drain the coolant because uh, we're changing the water pump. And then the serpentine belts down there, we do all that from the bottom. Just checking in. I got the motor mount out. Move the ECU 
Next on the top here, we're going to take off these upper timing covers. Got my wrench on the crankshaft. As soon as I take off those upper timing covers and put it in TDC, the reason I always loosen and tighten the crank bolt is because when it comes time to loosen it again, it doesn't move as I hit it with the gun. There you can see the mark is right there. It's aligned with this mark back here on the back plate. And if this belt is in time, the rear is gonna line up just right. And now that it's in time, we can smack this with the gun. You can see nothing moved. We go back up here and our timing mark is still in time. So that's why we loosen it earlier and just put it back on very lightly. change this crank seal now I'm gonna use a seal puller and go against the lip and the crank you gotta be super careful not to scratch the crank and after that I'm gonna lower the car remove the water pump and let it drain 
and then when reassembly. And if you've made it this far, uh, please consider subscribing. I make videos like this every week. And uh, if uh, you get any value out of these videos, you know, give me a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm. Thanks. Okay, old pump is out. There's a new pump, new tensioner, serpentine belt tensioner, serpentine belt, timing belt. We are in reassembly. new belt is routed so we set ourselves up for success earlier by leaving everything right where it was when we took the old belt off now let's see if I can get a shot of this there you go that's my that's lined up still and now here's a view of the lower gear these things right here aid in holding the belt in place while you route everything up top so it doesn't slip off the lower gear. And here everything is tensioned all the way around until here where this, this is just gonna push once we install the, uh, the tensioner.
Serpentine belts routed. A little 17 here. Go counterclockwise and it releases tension. And you can get the belt over the crank pulley. Sounds good. So now she's bleeding. I'm just gonna use my infrared thermometer and I'm gonna measure the upper hose and the lower hose and make sure that everything warms up properly, the thermostat opens properly. And then when the fans kick on, we can shut this off and close up the cooling system. Thermostat's opening. And I just had the heater on in the car. Make sure the heater works and there's no air pockets there. And now we're just waiting on the fans.